Welcome back Phasmophobia fam. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the parabolic mic in Phasmophobia, how it can help you identify ghosts, and I'm going to tell you whether or not it's a good thing to spend money on as a beginner who might be low on cash. Uh, before we start this video, make sure you subscribe to this channel. If you're a beginner player, I have a total list of comprehensive beginner's guides on my channel for ranging from equipment to ghosts to just how to play. Um, where to hide on maps, all that stuff. So this is the channel for you if you're learning how to play the game. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitch, Rush Remember Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, Sunday. We would love to meet you over there in our amazing community. And we're also on Discord. And this community is uh, probably the most friendly Phasmophobia community out there. We have beginner players, experienced players. It's a great place to go and, uh, you know, meet people to play with, make some friends, people to learn the game from. So we'd love to see you over there. All those links are going to be in the description. Now, let's not waste more time. Here's the video. Okay, so the power mic, here it is. This cool thing right here, a lot of people have been asking me what it's good for and whether or not they need it, um, or what it does. And I'm gonna take you through the map and actually show you it. Uh, the power mic in action hopefully we can get some ghost voices and stuff but it has two main purposes number one it's going to get the um like the ghost the ghost noises and what i mean by that is the ghost will talk into this sometimes uh when you're near them they'll either whisper or there's you know the banshee that will scream uh also it can pick up stuff like uh ghost footsteps which you would not hear otherwise not the salt footsteps actual ghost so if you use the, the power mic in the ghost room and you don't have salt down you'll actually be able to hear the ghost stepping with the power mic so that's another another thing they can do but those are all um those are both part of the first thing that it does the second thing that it does is it picks up uh things being moved in the house um that aren't exclusive to the player so what that means is you're not gonna the reading on here next to the db that's not gonna increase when you hear your friends talking or their radios stuff like that they're only exclusive to the player what you will catch are things like uh, things being thrown, doors being moved, windows being tapped on, all that kind of stuff will offer a reading on the power mic. And you might be wondering what the range of this thing is. So the power mic is going to be good uh, 30 meters distance, 6 meters wide, like a cone. So uh, it works at a pretty significant range. Some people say that it's good for the bigger maps, but I will get into that with you uh, later in the video. Let's get in here and... Um, Let's get in here on Tanglewood and see if we can get some readings with this so I can show you the power mic in action and how it actually works and how you know that it's working. So right now we have a zero decibel reading. It only works on the inside. So when we get a, uh, a reading of something being moved, that decibel is going to increase. So that door right there moved. That's something a player can do. A player can move a door and you could get a reading potentially. See? Once it clamps shut, a player can move a door because a ghost can also move a door. Now, the player exclusive things like talking and the radio, you won't get a reading for. I just heard a creak or something over this. What was that? Give us a sign. I heard a knock. There's a knock over here and we got a little reading on the decibel. So you can see how on a bigger map this could be potentially useful. Potentially. Now, yeah, there you go. It's a 12.8. That was a, a piece of silverware being thrown. Dear Lord. So you're going to get all kinds of readings on this thing. That I heard a footstep right there. So we heard a footstep with the power mic and notice there's no salt down. So you heard the footstep. Now, there are some general values for uh, the decibel level for noises you'll hear. Generally, a light is one to two decibels. A fuse box being toggled is three decibels. A door is going to be four. But it's um, variable if the ghost does it. So, spirit box static, it can pick up the spirit box, that's 5 decibels. Uh, motion sensor triggering, 5 decibels. Sinks, 5 decibels. And then everything else is kind of uh, not specific. It, it could probably be variable. I'm not sure, it's unclear. But um, the point is, if you get a reading on this, uh, it means there's some ghost activity going down for the most part, or there's some players throwing things and shutting doors. So, playing solo... It, now, that was just the ghost voice. So you heard the ghost talking to us. Uh, that is not a Banshee. A Banshee will do a Banshee scream. I'll actually edit that into the video right here. I've, I've gotten the Banshee scream on stream before. But yes, in terms of actually... So this is practical use number one. Practical use number two is going to be hearing that. And um, 
there's two ghosts that can really help you identify on like nightmare mode with the parabolic mic. Number one, the Banshee. If you get the iconic Banshee scream, it's the only ghost that does it. You know you have a Banshee. So you can use this to confirm that. The other is the Miling. The Miling, it gives you that audio evidence more often than any other ghost. So if you feel like the paramic is working a lot and the Miling is one of the last few choices on nightmare mode, that might be, uh, you know, you might want to lean towards Miling with your guess if everything else makes sense. We just got footsteps, anything being knocked off, 6.7, 6.3. Very nice. So you're seeing the parabolic mic in action. Now, this thing right here, this parabolic mic, it costs, I believe, $50. If you're a beginner player, um, is it worth it to spend your money on this if you're short on cash? I don't think so. And I also don't think it's that good of a tool to use on bigger maps. Uh, unless you're like a... Oh, my God. We're getting all these readings everywhere. Unless you're like a pro-level player that's just kind of toying with the ghost and uh, efficient enough to overcome... The sanity issues this mic could give you because if you take this mic in early game on a bigger map looking for the ghost um even if you find the ghost using the mic you still have to make an extra trip for an extra piece of uh, ghost equipment so it might hurt you in your sanity in the long run on something like prison if you have a cell block ghost uh those extra runs to the trailer and back and burning that sanity could get you in a situation where you're chain hunted late in the game and can't get that last evidence so i don't i think it's um but my personal use case for it i don't usually use it to help uh find the ghost unless i'm really bored all these uh readings are pretty cool Maybe we'll get another uh voice reading what i use it for is late game if miling or a banshee are a possibility i will i will bring it in then and see if we can get the banshee screamer see if we can get a lot of uh, voice activation on here to, to guess miling perhaps so yeah you can see it being effective let's get one more voice reading here whispers to us isn't that a cool little whisper ah! all right that's my sign to go so yeah another thing to take home about it. i know i already mentioned this but an another piece of advice here is if you are playing in a squad you need good team communication when you're using the paramic because if someone shuts a door and you get a reading they have to call it out they have to say oh i shut that door that that was me or else you could get you know a false idea of where the ghost could be because like i was saying earlier your teammates moving things around will cause a reading in the paramic if, if the ghost can do it and their teammates can do it, it'll make noise when either of them does it, if that makes sense. All right, so there's your paramic guide. I hope this helps clear up some misconceptions uh, for newer players that are wondering what it does and if it's worth it. Uh, if you have if you have a uh, sugar daddy in there or a sugar mama that's just uh, throwing, throwing equipment in because they have a ton of money, every match, go ahead and use it and get used to it. It's fun. But if you're really short on cash, uh, you're you're better off getting like a second camera or something than I would say the uh, parabolic because the second camera is gonna get you more uh, more money back in return and uh, that, That's just better all around. It's gonna help you get more cash and buy more stuff in the future So I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps leave your favorite um, Parabolic mic story in the comments if you have any funny stories with the parabolic mic put them in the comments I love to hear about it and uh, I'll see you next time